tell us why your organization chose to get involved in this, this Merck MIRC grant program? What, what were you hoping to achieve? Well, I think our region has been looking at broadband as kind of a regional issue for some time, identifying that in a rural um, region that it's important that uh, that we look at technology as a means for survival for our rural region. Um, it's, it's no less important than the access to roads or water or electricity, and because we often tend to be farther from services and major points of, uh, of commerce, we use technology in, um, we need to be able to use technology to be more efficient to survive in our rural region. And so we've really looked at it as a, as a main um, infrastructure that's critical to the continued uh, uh, survival of the region. Now, was the Merck grant program designed to actually build out some broadband, or was it designed to do something else? The, I think the Merck program really isn't designed for infrastructure per se, but it's really looking at everything building up to, to broadband. So the, um, the education and adoption and awareness of how you can use broadband, and that's a real critical issue in our region. We have, um, again, a rural and a, a rural and fairly elderly population that aren't necessarily all the early adopters of technology. And so we really looked at um, marketing, education and awareness, digital inclusion as ways of building the capacity and the demand for broadband services in our region. And so the Merck program really addressed a lot of those areas and in, in addition to areas including um, how do we be more innovative and efficient in delivering services in the region and information. All right, so what specific projects did you decide to fund from the, the Merck grant that would accomplish those, those goals? Sure. We, really, we had a pretty diverse variety of projects. We had a regional steering committee that came together representing a lot of different interests in the region, business interests, government interests, healthcare interests, education interests, and um, citizens. And, and we really looked at op opportunities in the region and barriers in the region did a traditional kind of SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, and came up with a list of priorities. And so when the Merck money became available for us, we put those priorities out there as part of our proposal process and said, we want to see proposals in this region that address these top priority issues. And we got a really nice um, variety of projects. We had 16 proposals that came in and we funded seven in the end. And really we have something in every one of the um, different <clears throat> intelligent um, criteria areas. So we have two that were in the marketing and advocacy area, one that was in digital inclusion, three that were in the innovation area, and one that was in the knowledge worker. Although most of our projects really had probably more than one area um, that they could fit under. Um, under the um, intelligent community criteria. Well, knowing what you know about the region, um, do you see, was there a common thread that you see running through these projects? Why, why were these the ones? Why did these seven get chosen? And what do they have in common? Um, they're, they're pretty diverse projects, but I would say common threads might be things like collaboration. Most of the projects we funded had um, multiple partners involved with the implementation of the project. And again, that's not so unusual in a rural community um, because we need to collaborate to often make things work. But so that's certainly a, a, a pretty um, common thread between all of our projects. Um, and a lot of them looked at their Merck project as a way to do what they're doing better or different. Um, so it's kind of an efficiency, maybe an innovation um, uh, kind of strategy on, on how do we continue to do our work in this region better. Could you give us some examples of, of the specific projects? What were they? What were people setting out to do, uh, sure. given to, to make things more efficient, to make things better, to do what they're doing in, in a more effective way? Sure. We have, um, for instance, we have one of our healthcare facilities that's working with um, a, a software developer that's piloting a home health 
um, project where there's a touchscreen, basically touchscreen computer that's placed in six of their clients' homes to monitor a variety of of health conditions, but then this piece of software and, and hardware um, works together to really go beyond the health side of things. It helps connect to um, their family and, and, and maybe their church, or it has a lot of other social functions to the actual software, not just the monitoring of their um, glucose level or their blood pressure or things that they need to monitor for their health, but really looks at, at the situation um, in a much broader context, and so they're impl they're uh, they're implementing this technology in a handful of their clients, and seeing it, it's a beta version of the software. So they're really seeing if this could be an effective way to connect to their healthcare patients, but then also be able to provide them some additional um, capacity while using technology. So that's one example is innovation. Um, <clears throat> and, and doing what they do in a little different way than they're doing it now. Um, I think one of the other examples is in one of our counties, Big Stone County, um, looked at putting a lot of their county information online. Now they have a website and they have a lot of different kinds of information online, but this is particularly some of their GIS mapping, land records, a lot of their files, um, and they were looking at cutting their service hours for their staff in the courthouse. So instead of just con cutting service hours and people aren't able to access this information, they're trying to put more of the information online 24-7 so they can still deliver the same information in the same, same um, man, well, in a different manner actually, um, electronically so people can access it from home or from their place of work, and so they're still getting the same service from the county, they're just getting in a di different way. So again, it's kind of delivering um, how do they use technology to do what they do better or more efficiently. Okay, well then I'll ask you to speculate a little bit. I mean, in general, based on what you've seen today, what, what impact do you think this whole effort is going to leave behind? What's going to be its legacy for your region? Mm -hmm. I think we had the opportunity to bring a, a big diverse crowd um, of stakeholders together that talked about technology, not only our steering committee, which is a great um, committee that we're hoping has some afterlife because they've come together and they've seen su some success with this Merck project, but all of the people who have been involved and touched in the Merck projects themselves, which is a much, much bigger crowd than just our steering committee. So we have kind of this network that's talking about how can we use technology to do things differently, to do things better in our region? And so I think this project has spurred a higher level of discussion and some discussion between some partners that may not have had um, the opportunity to talk again before. So I think the real benefit is now we have a higher, higher uh, uh, awareness in the region about different ways that technology can be used and broadband can be used in our region and we have a much better network of advocates in the region um, to have this discussion with. It's not just the providers out there that we everybody wants to put in the infrastructure. It's not just the government agencies who are looking at using their networks to do their work better and it's not just the business sector. We have a smattering of lots of different people, public, private, um, <clears throat> users that we've gotten together and so I think the real benefit is the collaboration and discussion among that group of stakeholders in the region.